Wally Birdson in The Undersea Treasure Hunt by Alex Foster. While Jamie Amberley was going vacation in Chicago, Illinois with her parents, Savannah Witchway's mother was take her daughter and Savannah's friends, Wally Birdson and his girlfriend Annie Wetkins are going to visit Savannah's pen pal who lived in Miami, Florida. His name is Ricky Pugsky. He was very cute and friendly. He loves people and animals than anything else. One day, Savannah, Wally and Annie are mated to Miami. Ricky saw Savannah and her friends are visiting him. After an introduction, they decide to go to the beach. Wally and Annie are settled down to lay on the sun. Annie snuggled Wally to take a rest. While Savannah and Ricky are talk about the treasure, Wally and Annie are build the sand castle. Annie, I'm glad you Tyler was not going to vacation to Florida, said Wally. Yeah, Annie agreed. His father ground him for giving you gravel wedgie on you. Yes, Wally replied. I'll be a king and you are a queen. Okay, Wally, said Annie. Just then, Ricky and Savannah came to the lovebirds. Hey guys, said Ricky excitedly. Savannah and I talk about there's a golden treasure chest underneath the sea inside of the deep cave. Huh? asked Annie curiously. We're going underwater to find a treasure, answered Savannah. You two are coming with me, us. Sure, said Wally. Annie, let's go. Annie nodded. Rocky asked his father to borrow his boat. He brought his friends onto the boat. He drove the boat into the Fur Atlantic Ocean. Then the boat stops. Ricky said, Guys, put the scuba gear. We're going to the underwater treasure hunt. Everyone wear the scuba gear. Okay, guys, Ricky continued. We swim together to the cave. It's easy to get lost. Let's dive. Everyone put their breathing tubes in their mouths, put putting masks on their faces, flippers in their feet, and they dive underwater. The kids dived further below the ocean. It was 1,000 feet deep. They swam to find the deep cave to find a golden treasure chest. They finally made it to the underwater cave. Wait. We made it, fellas, said Ricky. There's a treasure inside the cave. Impressive, Wally cheered. Do we dare to get in the dark, spooky cave? Gold Annie nervously. I'll protect you, Annie, Wally said briefly. Thanks, Wall, Annie sighed in relief. All right, guys, the treasure is up ahead, said Ricky. Let's go inside. And the kids entered the cave. When they inside the cave, they saw the golden treasure. All right, cheered Savannah. We found the golden treasure chest. Yeah, replied Ricky. Let's grab the chest and let's go to the surface. At the moment, Wally and Annie are removing their breathing tubes and they kissing. Savannah saw two love birds are kissing. She giggled. Wally and Annie are stopped kissing. They put their breathing tubes in their mouths. And the kids grabbed the chest and they swam out to the surface and they climbed out the boat. So Ricky drove the boat and made it to the shore of Florida. He grabbed the chest and they headed for home. As Savannah's mother, Ricky's father, saw four children come back. Dad, we found a golden treasure inside the cave, Ricky said. That's nice, said his father. And there's a chest inside, Savannah's mother exclaimed. Yeah, and my pen pal show us where the treasure is, Savannah replied. Annie looked at Wally. Hi, Wally, she said romantically. Let's go for a swim again, just you and me. Oh, okay, Annie, said Wally. His heart is racing. So Wally and Annie are sneaked off into the water. They swim further, they hold their breath, and they dive underwater again. When they down to the ocean floor, they kiss underwater again.
the 